you need to prank boat and close the door right in front of him. Ah, yep. she set me on I fire. She set me on Ooh, fire. She's on fire. Yeah. yeah, she did. Howdy folks and welcome back to Ark Scorched Earth Adventures. I'm out here in the desert above the wyvern pit as you see there's wyverns down there. Flying pretty high so they hopefully won't notice me. Uh, because we, as a group, are going to be building a wyvern cage. Now, this is something that uh, Chickenbone over on the Pooping Evolve server did, and he released a great video for it. I linked to it in my previous video for some of his building techniques. But we've decided we're going to go ahead and try to build that, in, that entire structure here on our server as well. Uh, I think Scriptar and Mortuary are going to join me for that. And uh, I'm flying out here at the site right now. I, I volunteered to build the ceilings we're going to need. And I'm flying kind of slow because I'm a little burdened. So I'm really hoping that the wyverns don't notice me. Uh, because I couldn't outrun them at the moment. I think I just have enough speed to outrun them normally. But uh, we're going to come down here to the build site. I believe this is where... Uh, yeah, this is where Chicken Bone built his. So we're going to probably just use the... Oh boy. <laughs> There's a wyvern. Flying right over the site. Mm, that's not so good. <laughs> So we're going to land at the site. We're going to try to do a little bit of construction. We might be in a little bit of trouble if that wyvern decides to uh, hang out there for a while. So um, I'll meet up with the guys, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, I'm back, and since the guys uh, were still getting their stuff prepared to come out here, I decided to pick an alternate build location. This is the north end of the trench, I believe. Uh, yeah, the north end of the trench, and it's a fairly straight, fairly flat, high area, just like uh, Chicken Bone did over there. Um, but over there is a wyvern, and uh, I didn't feel like doing a Destroy Wild Dinos, because that's, you know, if you don't have to, why do it? So we figured we could build it here, you know? We could stretch it that direction. It can be stretched along there, and we can capture the wyverns, the female wyverns, and knock them out and get their milk. So we can raise our own wyverns, which is the goal of this trap. So now, waiting for the guys, and then we'll get started. Whoa, action! <laughs> <laughs> think we should uh, think we should go down there, Scripter. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna drop me or? What? <laughs> I was thinking, no, I, I wasn't gonna do the it. Archaeopteryx. <laughs> I just wanted to see your reaction when you came in. I was oh. right over the trench, but then one of the uh, wyverns started slowly flying up <laughs> towards us. Peter pranked. <laughs> Didn't even nerd. I'm a professional. Mm hmm. I noticed. <laughs> so, who's going to lay the cornerstone? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's start this thing. Let's do this, right? Yeah, let's uh, let's get this party started. Back here, and I am here with uh, Scripter and Bowden Maddox, and we will be building a, a wyvern taming pen, at least a, a pen to capture the wyvern or the wyverns in. So, how are we going to do this, guys? Just place the blocks and go ahead, or uh, do we have a plan? Well, we have the builder's helmet. <laughs> we can just place the blocks, and if we get it wrong, we pick them back up. Hopefully, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So who's gonna lay the first stone? Here, let me well, do the honors. Let me get the right gear mm -hmm. on for this construction job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe I should do the same thing. There you go. <laughs> Some, well, My... Somebody place the first block. I mean, I, I think Scripter was the first one to mention doing this in one of his videos, so he gets to place the cornerstone. Oh, there it's we me go. now. All right. Well. I guess we need some room over here, so we're out of range of lightning wyverns and stuff, so I'm going to move a little bit more forward. See that I get something straight, and I'd say, if I put this on my hotbar, actually, help. Right about here? Which way? We're going this direction? Just thinking, uh, that actually doesn't line up with the edge over there at all. <laughs> Yeah, we're going that direction, but I think I need to angle this more or go further to Build the left. A Build this hammer to the rescue. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put it there. That looks better. It's Ooh. like, I don't know if you guys have the, the same the same thing, but it's, if you look in the distance towards the mountains up there, it's it's like uh, some some water in the dunes. Oh, yeah, it does look like yeah, it. Yeah, true. Yeah. 
uh, how do they call it in English? Fata Morgana. Mirage. It's French, but mm, Mirage. Le mira a Mirage. Yes, uh, that's French. Yep. But, that's what know, it's called. We steal a lot of words from other languages in our language. Yeah, True. so do we. <laughs> Who doesn't? Well, the Germans didn't used to. They just used to put a whole bunch of words together to make a word. Mm -hmm. True. That's what one, two, three, four, one more. One more. Ah, yeah. Okay, that's two yeah. more. Are we going this <laughs> way? I guess so. So I'll go down this this aisle here. This uh, mm -hmm. this column. It's called speed building. <laughs> yeah. Teamwork. Ha ha ha. Uh, uh, somebody this messed place. up. Critical fail. The only time the the builder's helmet does not help is when you misplace over another one and destroy it. Then you're then mm. you messed up. Yeah. I ran out of foundations. I need to go get more. Same. How far did we go? How many more do we have to do? A lot. Uh, Not yet. Uh, there aren't a lot of foundations left. Nope, none. Yeah, well, I'm taking the first pillars here. Okay, so what do we do here? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, oh. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That one went to one too far. So this is the end. That last one that's there. Over excitement. Yeah, I don't have any foundations anymore, so. Ooh, why do you know? We were able to lay the whole thing. Yeah, it was. Woohoo! You know, we did, we did the math. <laughs> yeah. We need two more foundations, though, because we need to stick out one on each side for the uh, behemoth gate. True. Well, we can always do that a little bit later. I got more materials. I brought some raw materials. We can make a couple. That's good. What you doing, more? So now we leave one pillar open in the end to fly through with the RG. Yeah. And I have pillars all along the outside, right? Yeah. Pretty sure with the collision box of the Vivan Vivern thing, uh, we could do every second. I've seen mm -hmm. it being built with uh, door frames. Yeah, you can do that. It's really, the, the question is what is the cheapest option? Pillars and door frames, they go well. There we go. The last foundation's in place. We'll hold off awesome. and do the gate at the end. So it's pillar time, huh? It's pillar mm -hmm. time. Mm. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that ad from the U.S. Mm, it's really. Miller time. <laughs> yep. It sounded like that. <laughs> All right. First row done. Uh, ten more on top. Ten? Mm-hmm. Eleven in total. And 13. Well, nice. this is as high as I can place them. So yeah. actually, hang on a moment. That's 13. Oh, you're already so. done. <laughs> the one time you don't look in the whole structures, then look at that. Right? It's birdie time. There we and go. Of course, I brought the speedboat for this, which makes total oh, sense. Yeah. Well, that foundation gets to place. It's, that's about as far back as it'll place. It looks like it's sloping away now. So we're in good shape. Oh, yeah. That's good. Well, otherwise, you know. Fence foundations and stuff. Sure. You get it to place eventually. So that's six, seven, eight. The uh, behemoth gate there, uh, Scripter? I'm not quite sure if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do it. Well, you got the builder's helmet, so no worries. Yep, true. I was just about to walk all the way when I saw my bird standing behind me. 
All right. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over and I'm going to build enough materials to make a small adobe hut. How's that? That's a good idea. Nice. I'll be back. Whenever this this uh, keypad UI opens, your cursor is automatically on there, so just click four times is the same as hitting it on your keyboard. It's just whichever button you find faster. Let's Actually, see. since that's set, <laughs> let's see. Let's see if it works. Yep, it's closing. <laughs> we have a working door. Nice. So there was only one trick to this, I believe. You can't open it from here. No, we yeah, can, can because we have the gate the right way around. I think when you open it via keypad, it always opens to the outside as it should be. I'm and, coming in. Um, <laughs> and here I am. Okay, now this hut doesn't have to be attached to, to that structure, right? It can be over here somewhere, right? Yeah, and we can yeah. trash all of this fact, if we want to. Let's put it kind of right here, it's where my bird is, actually. Because mm? it's kind of flat there. Mm-hmm. Again, we can move all of this, just the keypad, I guess, should be somewhere here. Also, did we get that ramp made, by any chance? Water I ramp? didn't make it yet, no. Right. We should probably um, have to get into here, too. Let me do that. Do we have enough materials to make a ramp to one. get in here? Mm. Yeah, I think so. But I don't think you'll need one. <laughs> Just when I was about to try, you put in the door. <laughs> I saw I it. Smash, smash my head against the door. Uh, wait a minute. I no, made you a... don't need. Oh, man. I thought I made an Adobe window. Well, this may not window. be fun, then. I want to go for the glass windows. I am going to make an Adobe window. Well, window frame, I meant to say. Ah, all right. That makes sense. That's one of the things I hate in Primitive Plus. Nothing lines up. I mean, it would yeah. look so gorgeous if you could just... But that's the same in vanilla as well. For for mm. some of the things, you can't really put a glass window in a stone frame. It just doesn't really fit. I yeah, don't know still, what's so difficult about that. In Primitive Plus, you have your ceilings that don't even fit. Yeah, and your doors are off center and all of that. Here we have a very <clears throat> large window now. That's good. It's panorama yeah, style. Yeah. It's it's actually <laughs> it looks like Not like a hunting thing. cabin now. Uh, yeah, uh, true. Uh, pew pew. If you put up some boxes on the outside to obscure the view a little bit, you can make this a Call of Duty map. <laughs> Yeah, I like your double bats here. That's that's good. King size bat. Yeah, that that's the right size for me. I mean, I get the stretch here where there's no pillow, and my wife has the rest. But that's usually how it works, right? Yeah. I'm too tall. I need a California king. <laughs> I'd love to have one. Wait a minute. Just have to. I renamed the, the wrong bed. Oh. Stop. Give me the bed. There's the bed. All right. Wyvern cage one, two, and three. Pelican. Why can you rename solar panels? Hmm. But I like that snap point. The cable is coming out right in the middle of that pole there. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, the outlet is off center because why would you make that ever center on a vertical cable? I think this works nice. That was fast. Here comes a snake. Trap it. <laughs> put, put it in the box. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's get eggs. Let's trap it for eggs. That never worked. <laughs> for now, that will have to do. I think I saved him an hour there. Yeah, that will have to do. So you use the rest of the materials we have there. <laughs> Good. Almost all of them. In fact, I think I need a little bit more because I want to make a uh, ramp still. It's interesting. Yeah, exactly. I tried to make two and we didn't have enough for that. Oh, um, we do when we do this. Uh -uh. That works. Yeah. That looks funny. Don't forget to recycle, kids. 
And ramp. The ramp. Ooh, we can make we can make two. <laughs> well, with the ceilings in there, you can make three or four. <laughs> True. <laughs> All right, I am dehydrated. Getting some water. There we go. Mm-hmm. Actually, going to uh, grab this storage chest and put it inside. Are we idea. gonna go uh, try out the box as well, or? Uh... Oh, I think we should. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I yeah. don't have any uh, trank stuff with me. Does somebody have enough to knock one out? Oops. Come on out. I have. Uh, I have uh, forty-one. All right, I guess I'm the guinea pig that's going to lead some lead one through then, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you have the highest speed by 2.5%. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's a thing. Yeah, then we should park the birds somewhere else. They're in rain. Mm -hmm. So we have to stay behind, behind the pillar. Behind the foundation. Or, uh, behind the foundation, actually. So on the ramp is okay, but as soon as I stand on here, you're in range of a lightning wyvern that's sticking his head through there. I'm gonna do it just like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was actually thinking I'm gonna do the same. <laughs> that looks awful. Amazing. We're aiming at the air. Okay. Yeah. But, well, the the wyvern will fly, huh? So. Yeah. So. I've left my. Whoops. Hang on. <laughs> I've left my Draboa in here in case I die. That's a good idea. And I'm going to take off my Builder's Helmet now. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh, I already did. Oh, yeah, it's way too, way Stripper's too still wearing his. There you go. <laughs> yep. All right. I'm going to look for a uh, fairly low-level female, because that's all we need, right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. You know what we need up here? Preserving salt. Yeah, refrigerator would be there nice. Is, there is salt up there. Yeah. I don't know if you can still put the milk in the refrigerator, but I do know that preserving salt still works. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Preserving bin with preserving salts are the best way to do it. Mm hmm. So I guess we should put that up here. Is this poison or lightning? What is this? It's poison. Let's see if it's a female. So you can't actually tame the wyvern, right? You have to grab an egg and yep. hatch that. Yeah. Exactly. And to do that, you need Vivan milk, which is basically male. their food, their kibble. Don't eat anything else. And for that, you need to trank a female and then and grab it from it the body yeah. before it wakes up. And can you actually uh, allow it to wake up then and do it all over again? Or do you, do you have to okay. set it free or kill it? Fire wyvern coming in. Uh -oh. Gorgeous. What? Torches? Gorgeous. <laughs> torches works as well. It's a fire weapon. <laughs> yeah, fire, torches. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I think she's In following arc, me. Everything makes sense. I do believe... She, yeah, she's following me. <laughs> she's definitely following me. Yeah, I see well, one. I, I see her. I don't see you. <laughs> it's good. You see her heading down towards you, straight down towards you guys? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's her. I can't see. There's a structure. The door's open. Cool, cool, cool. cool. It oh, just yeah, took a while yeah. to open. Here we go. <laughs> now we can yeah. find... Oh, she we went away. She went Bowden. away. She turned away. Hey, turned away. Hang on. I need to get her attention again. You need to prank Bode and close the door right in front of him. Ah, yep. she set me on I fire. She set me on fire. Ooh, she's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah she did. Uh oh. Come on. Come on, girl. Yeah, wait at the entrance there a little bit. Here she goes. Yeah, oh. yeah, she's in. Close the door. One of you guys. I did. All right. Works. Yes. Yep. This, this looks good. Already. Awesome. Let me come up here as well. Twice. Ha. I'll, I'll stay back a little in case we miscalculated the distance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice that you're sacrificing yourself for the statistics. She's down. Nice. Wow. That was what? Less than 10 dots? Yeah, probably three or four. Five from milks side. stacked. Because oh, she wakes up mod. pretty fast. Yeah, grab that milk, guys, once you see it. Somebody grab it. The last yeah, person who can see it, grab, grab it. it. Yeah, I grab it. All right, now we just kill her. She's halfway done. <laughs> There's no point She's in not killing her. She's halfway done to waking up. Let me see if I can get my art. Everybody's already go kill, 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 kill. Get the XP from that. 
That's a good idea. Incoming. You can shoot her again if you needed to keep her knocked out. Mm-hmm. There we go. Nice. Mm -hmm. Somebody Never got a mind. fire talon too, or a little a fire thingy. Uh, let me check. Somebody would have gotten one. No, nope. I got nope. soul food. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, because she was unconscious, of course. Right. You don't get them when they're unconscious. All right. Cool. So it works. It works. It works. Oh, that's that definitely works. All right. And my speed is now one eighty-seven point five. Yeah, I just caught up to you for a second. <laughs> so, do we keep the door closed? Uh, keep it open in case somebody wants to do it and doesn't have time to come over here and open it. I'd keep somebody it open. Somebody just shut off the solar panel? I don't think so. Maybe I was pointing at uh, it when I jumped off? Yeah, I was pointing at it when I jumped yeah, off. Yeah, that might be. I hate it when that happens. Yeah. Well, it did work quite nicely, actually. Yeah, it was great. Mm-hmm. Way too flawless. And how much, <laughs> how many, how much milk do you need to tame? Uh, Ali, to uh, depends on the level, it? but five is probably a good yeah. five to ten, probably depending on the level. Mm -hmm. I think on our but server it's... settings, five should be plenty. But it spoils pretty fast, right? Yeah, but you should get Six a preserving hours. bin with preserving salts and spark powder, and it'll last a long time. I guess this is going to spoil before I can do anything with it. Well, so, if you can get it back really home matter. and stick it in a preserving bin, you'll be fine. What's the time on it? Six hours. Yeah, but it's a stack of five, remember, because we have the stacking mm -hmm. mod? So in six mm -hmm. hours, you only lose one. That's true. Well, I don't have a preserving bin. <laughs> <laughs> I won't in six hours. Oh, back at your place? Oh. Uh huh. You can stick it in mine or anybody who has one. Yeah, you yeah can take I have it. one, but I, on the bird. I don't have any oh. preserving salt. I'll take it and stick it on mine. I do have the salt, I don't have the bins. Oh, wait. I do have bins. Oh, well, I just, want it back? Yeah, you can do it. That's fine. I just realized I made them earlier today because I wanted to get the kibble production going. Okay. At least have everything at the ready, so I made two preserving bins and put them up in the greenhouse where I had an empty spot that looked ugly. Now it's symmetrical again. <laughs> All right, folks, we've built the trap. There's only one more thing we can do before the end of this episode. I've gotten uh, so close to speed up to 192.5. I think I can outrun. I, I can outrun that other wyvern that I was leading. I just had to turn back to get her to aggro me again. I think it's time to see if we can get an egg, guys. There's a lightning wyvern. I would really rather avoid him and or her. Let's see. We got a wyvern over there. What's really spooky about the wyverns, and you need to realize this when you're flying around here, is... They may look like they're close, but they're not. They're just so big that um, even when they look like they're close, they're actually pretty far away. You can tell that because even when you can see like that one, and you bring up your spyglass, you can't you can't see any text on it. So he's so far away that you can't read that. So there's no sense in being that worried. I'm gonna go down to the other end over here. Oh man, so many. I should probably try to lead them out. Maybe maybe that'll be a good way to do it. Maybe aggro some away and see if I can outrun them, first of all. There we go. Let's try with this lightning, dude. See if he'll aggro me. I think I'm too far away for him to aggro me. Definitely. So you can be here and, and close to them and they won't even notice you unless you get real close to them. Okay, that one's busy fighting stuff. These other ones are coming up. I'm going to land here for a second. Get a little stand back. Pretty sure I can outrun them. The only one I probably couldn't outrun is the Alpha. Alright, what do we got down here? Let's take a look. Let's take a peek. Do we have any egg chambers down this far? Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> it's going to hurt if I get shot at. Even though I might be able to get away, it's still going to hurt. It's very hot down here. Okay, there are no eggs down here, obviously. The nests are in the walls. Let's see if we can find one. It's just crew. Oh, that looks like the alpha. That really looks like the alpha. 
Over there on my upper left over there. Oh, it's not. Anything behind me? No, it didn't aggro anything yet. Looking for egg chambers. Looking, 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 look. Oh crap, what is that? <laughs> they all look so big when you come across them. There's an there's a nest. Oh, I think I aggroed that one. I'm pretty sure I aggroed that one. Oh I did. And that one looks really big. I don't think it's the alpha though. I could be wrong. What is it? Is that a fire? That one's very red. <laughs> I'm leading it away, whatever it is. That one could be the alpha. It's very red. There's no glow. Did the alphas glow? That can't be the alpha chasing me because I'm not running him and I'm not even a 200% RG. Yeah, he gave up. I want to know, does this... Is that just a fire one? It's just a, uh, just a fire. Okay. Let's head back along now. Get some stand back at the other end and try that again. This storm is not good, though, because I think this is a dust storm. And I... You know what? I can't risk it. Oh, can I? I got five minutes once it starts. Maybe I can risk it. Let's try it. This is crazy. This is really dumb. The nest was over here. There it is. Is that a fire? Oh, that looks like a fire. Guys, this is going to be crazy. Here we go. I'm getting... Fly! <laughs> Don't you eat right now, you idiot. We're running. Don't look back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Please tell me this is an electrical storm. And not a dust storm. Or I'm so dead. Pretty sure it's a dust storm. Oh wow. There was one right there. I flew right over. I'm an idiot. Oh, but it's turning around anyway. Oh boy. Woo! I think I got away. Yep. None of them chasing me. Woo, guys. We got an egg. I didn't even take a look at the level or anything. You probably did a freeze frame on that and probably saw it. I didn't see it. I'll take a look as soon as I'm sure I'm completely safe here. Okay, what is that? Oh, 48, but that's fine. That's fine. It's our first wyvern. I can take a 48. Hee hee hee. Well, it turns out that was a heat wave, but not a problem. Level 48 fire wyvern. Oh, that's going to be fun. The fires and the lightnings are the best from what I understand. The poisons are a little rough. You know what that means, guys. Next episode, we're going to have to build some sort of a hatching area, hatchery, and hatch ourselves our first wyvern and have a little fun with it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.